Hello. Today I will discuss about the histology of the spleen. The spleen is the largest lymphoid organ of our body. It is located in the abdomen, in the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. It has capsule. Capsule is composed of connective tissue and this capsule is a thick capsule here. It is covered outside by the visceral peritoneum. This is the capsule, this is the connective tissue and from the capsule we get the trabeculae. Trabeculae enters into the substance of the spleen. It enters into the organ, the spleen and the spleen has red pulp and white pulp. Most part of the spleen is covered by the red pulp and also a significant part is covered by the white pulp. They are intermingled together. They have different function, but they are intermingled. So this is the white pulp. It makes a lymphatic nodule and at the periphery of the lymphatic nodule, we have the central artery. We have also lymphatic sheet around the artery. So this is the white pulp. And the rest part, this is the red pulp. It contains the sinusoids and the cores, lymphatic cores. We call it build or cord. So the lymphatic nodule artery forms the white pulp, and the red pulp is the part other than that of the white pulp. It is composed of the lymphatic cords, also called build or cord or splenic cords and sinusoids. So sinusoids and lymphatic cord forms the red pulp, the lymphatic nodule and the, and the periarterular lymphatic sheath in the central artery. This forms the white pulp. So this is white pulp. This is another white pulp. Other than the white pulp, these are the red pulp. This is trabeculae. This is extension from the capsule. This is the capsule, and that capsule is thick. It contains myofibroblast, and outside the capsule, it is lined by the mesothelium or visceral peritoneum. And our spleen is located in the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. Okay, so we learn this part. From the spleen, again, we must recognize that this is the largest lymphoid organ, but it has no cortex, no medulla, that it differentiated from that of the lymph node. It has a red pulp, white pulp. More, more part of the liver is covered by the red pulp. The white part has less, less part in the contribution of the structure of the, of the spleen. So red pulp and white pulp, they are intermingled together and they have different function. We have splenic sinusoids, we have circulation inside the spleen and we have closed circulation, open circulation. In human, it is mostly the open circulation. Blood filtration is a function of the spleen. Production of lymphocyte is a function of spleen. And spleen is very important organ for defense against the invading microorganisms. Okay, so here again, if you go go through the spleen, this is a photomicrograph of a spleen. Okay, that is we, that we see under the light microscope with low magnification. This is the capsule. We have the trabeculae here, and trabeculae contains blood vessels. We have the trabecular vein here, we have trabecular artery, and we have these are the splenic nodule here. Splenic nodule and splenic nodule has germinal center inside it, site of formation of lymphocyte. These are the germinal center. Okay. And this is the red pulp. So this lymph splenic nodule forms the white pulp. This is white pulp. And the rest part here, this is the red pulp. 
this is a red pulp okay we got the capsule we got the trabeculae we got the trabecular vessel we got the splenic nodule with germinal center and in between the nodule we have the red pulp that contains the sinusoids and also the the splenic cords so here if you look at that trabecular contain trabecular artery here okay we have also trabecular vein okay then we have the lymphatic nodule we have the central artery central artery is at the periphery of the of the lymphatic nodule and these are the sinusoids sinusoids and in a reticular cell mass reticular fiber uh, network we have the sinusoids here okay we got that now go there this is the trabecular artery it goes through the lymphatic nodule lymphatic nodule has this is the germinal center area it contains the b lymphocyte at the periphery we have the t lymphocyte okay and this artery is going to the going to the splenic sinus in human actually it opens into the lymphatic cord in the reticular substance then it parlocates between the endothelial cells of the of the sinusoids the the splenic sinusoid okay it also called splenic sinus so open circulation is for human okay because it come in contact with the with that of the macrophage and some of the cell cannot go through the small passes between the endothelial cell so the phagocytic cell may may break down it very easily so this is the open way so this is the splenic artery then trabecular artery then we'll get the pencilar artery then it will open here and ultimately going to the splenic sinusoid or sinuses returning back through the through the trabecular vein this is the red pulp we are looking at the red pulp here this is sinusoid sinusoid is lined by the endothelial cell this endothelial cell sinusoid contains the the all the components of the blood we are seeing some of the rbcs here okay these are the lining epithelium endothelium here these are the blood cells okay we got that here is again the sinusoids sinusoid and it contains the blood all the blood cells here present there plus it also has phagocytic cells okay antigen presenting cells also the lymphocyte we have a lot of lymphocyte l t lymphocyte b lymphocyte okay they are also present here so also the need to feel is also present here so sinusoids are the dilated vessel inside the spleen lined by the endothelial cell these are elongated cell they are different from other endothelial cell of the blood vessel they are called stage cells okay these are the elongated endothelial cell and these are called step cell that they are connected to each other but there is gap also present there we have macrophages present on their surface okay like this is the macrophages and macrophages present in the lymphatic cord that is composed of reticular tissue reticular fiber okay so macrophage is present here we have also antigen presenting cell we have also immunological cells present there and they will phagocytose the worn out or old rbcs here is the reticular cell need to fill here okay so this is a macrophage part of the macrophage is present here okay we got that now here is the hepatic here, here is the this is the splenic sinusoid this is the endothelial cell endothelial cell so these cells are very special and these cells are elongated they are called step cell we are seeing also some reticular fiber here reticular fiber reticulocyte a lot of macrophages here these are the macrophages okay macrophages that will take out the worn out rbc 
and RBC should go through this passage from this splenic cord area. This is free here. Then it should go through the space between the endothelial cell and that is the way it will go to the vein. So the old cell will be taken out with the phagocytose. Okay, so we got the structure. We have some clinical application. Okay, so like that. Spleen may be enlarged. We call it splenomegaly. There are many reasons. Maybe malaria, maybe collagen, maybe even typhoid fever. Okay, so leukemia is a blood cancer. Spleen may be enlarged. Lymphoma, some type of lymphoma like non-Hoskins lymphoma. In that condition, spleen may be enlarged. Splenectomy is done sometimes in case of road traffic accident or, or splenic rupture or some other, other medical indication, our life is compatible without spleen. But we'll get abnormal RBC in our blood. We'll get a lot of platelet in our blood after splenectomy. But life is compatible. We can survive without spleen. Okay, we got that. Now we go to go through some viva questions. What are the identifying points of spleen histological slide? We have the capsule, trabeculae, red pulp, white pulp. Okay. What are the differences between the lymph node and spleen? Spleen has no afferent vessel. It has no cortex, no medulla. Okay. And what is the white pulp? White pulp is a lymphatic nodule and the central artery and the lymph node around it, we call it uh, PALS, periarterial lymphatic sheath. Okay, that is the white pulp. What is red pulp? Red pulp composed of the, the spleen sinusoids and also the, 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 the splenic cord that is composed of the reticular cells and the reticular fiber, the antigen, antigen presenting cell, T lymphocyte, B lymphocyte, macrophages, okay, and other white blood cell, all the granulocytes that forms the red pulp. This forms the, the maximum part of the spleen, okay, comparatively less part of the spleen is covered by the white pulp, but they are mingled together, okay. But what cells are present in the splenic cord? Splenic cord contains the macrophages antigen presenting cell, T lymphocyte, B lymphocyte, the granulocyte, all the, the, the blood cells, all the blood cells like RBC, WBC platelets. What is step cell? Step cell is the elongated endothelial cells of the splenic sinusoid. What is pencilar arteriole? Pencilar arteriole is the, is the branch of continuation of the central artery of the spleen that ultimately opens into the into the into the splenic cord into the splenic cord the terminal end of the central artery of the spleen is called spencillar arteriole what is pals periarterial lymphatic sheath around the central artery that is composed of t lymphocyte remember the germinal center of the lymphatic nodule has the b lymphocyte the PALS, periarteriolar lymphatic sheath has T lymphocyte. And also remember the lymphatic nodule, centrally we have the B lymphocyte at the periphery, we have the T lymphocyte. What are the location of T and B lymphocyte? We discuss what is open circulation. The pencilar artery opens into the lymphatic cord. Then it will be go through the, the blood should go through the between the endothelial cells, the step cell, there is the open circulation. In human, we have the open circulation. What are the function of spleen? For production of lymphocyte, it is also for the breakdown of the RBC and also immunological function. Okay. And these are my references. Please go through the references and please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Any question, feel free please feel free to ask me and have a nice day. Bye now.